Welcome to the Line of Fire Examples and Injury Prevention Safety video. The term Line of Fire is commonly used when discussing workplace safety. But what is it exactly and how does it apply to you at work? At its simplest definition, being in the Line of Fire means that you are in harm's way. Line of Fire injuries occur when the path of a moving object or hazardous energy intersects with an individual's body. In any workplace, there could be many places where an individual finds him or herself in the line of fire. Or there could be very few. The specific examples of being in the line of fire will depend on what work tasks are being completed as well as the work environment itself. Struck by incidents. Struck by incidents are very common in many industries. These incidents occur when an individual is struck by a moving object. Some examples would include being struck by a forklift in a warehouse, or experience an injury due to a dropped object from an elevated surface. Caught in or between incidents. Caught in or between incidents can be similar to struck by incidents, but the difference is an individual or a specific body part is caught in between a moving object and an object that is stationary. Some examples would include getting a hand caught in moving gears, or a stack of materials shifting and pinning a worker against a wall. Another major category of line of fire incidents is being exposed to released energy. While it's not mentioned sometimes when discussing being in the line of fire, there are many examples of hazardous energy that if not controlled can injure employees. Examples would include burning steam being released from a faulty valve or a flame that is released from a malfunctioning engine. There are probably many examples of how you can find yourself in the line of fire running through your mind after discussing these broad categories. Keep them in mind as we discuss general ways we can protect ourselves from line of fire injuries. There are many specific actions you can take to protect yourself from being victim of a line of fire incident. The best choice is to eliminate the hazards that cause line of fire injuries in the first place. Examples would include removing objects from elevated work areas that could fall and strike employees below, or taking equipment out of service that poses a major caught-in-between hazard. When elimination is not possible, another great option is to implement engineering controls that are effective in protecting workers. Examples would include physical barriers to keep employees out of dangerous areas, or guards on moving equipment. The last defense is wearing the proper PPE. PPE should never be relied on in place of eliminating hazards or engineering controls, but it can help to minimize damage if you do find yourself a victim of a line of fire injury. Be aware of what the hazards are in your workplace and where you can find yourself in the line of fire. Stay aware of what is going on around you to avoid finding yourself a victim of a line of fire injury.